all of you have seen the video of President William Ruto inside the rally car. Have you seen it on the trail? I wonder what was going through the mind of the president's security when he was alone in that car with the rally driver. But in his own words, he wouldn't do it again because earlier on, the president flagged off the WRC safari rally shakedown at the Naivasha Service Park. Now, the president further challenged Kenyan drivers, especially women, to participate in the rally next year. Now, the event will officially will begin officially on Thursday at Uhuru Park. This is a moment because uh, the greening aspect of this rally speaks to the nature. Many uh, people watch safari rally in picturesque uh, environment, difficult terrain, up the mountains, down the valleys, and it's better when it is green. And I think that is why uh, this greening aspect, I'm told, 19 million trees will be planted as part of this carnival of activity and it speaks to the belief in our government in the people of kenya and i am confident that it is also the belief of wrc that we must do this in a sustainable matter in a sustainable manner and ensure that uh, we manage and and work with the environment in a sustainable manner and i want to congratulate them for bringing the greening aspect, the planting of trees, as part of this celebration. Now, Team Toyota aims to win this year's edition of the Safari Rally for the third consecutive time since the return of the rally back in 2021. The team is made up of Sebastian Oguer, Kale, and Sebastian Oguer, and of course, Kuna Takamoto Katsuta. Country. And the history of the Safari is so rich and deep that every driver wants to test not just um, their mental fortitude but their skill on driving in one of the roughest. Well, Toyota is um, it's a motor of perfection when it comes to motorsports and uh, these are principles that have been developed over the years. And what makes it so special is we've always had a world champion in Toyota from the 90s all the way up to now. So those principles are applied and that's what makes the Yaris unbeatable. The journey has been uh, quite historic. We started a long time in our corner here. You'll see the rally corner. We, even when the series was still going on those years before the 19 year lapse, uh, we were still uh, sponsoring the rally. And uh, on its resumption in 2020, we, came, we were excited. We came back and uh, we immediately took on sponsorship. And this is the third year running now that we are sponsoring and we are partnering with uh, Safari Rally Kenya. Oh, just with Chana and Ravi Chana, Karan Patel and Tosif Khan, Issa Mutwiri, Anwari and Dennis Mwenda received a boost ahead of the Safari Rally after Rubis Energy Kenya announced sponsorship to their participation to the toughest rally event in the world. Now the championship will rave off from June 22nd to June 25th, 2023. WRC is WRC, Safari Rally, Safari Rally. A very tough event, but we are going for a finish and see what, what we'll get after finishing because we have to finish first before getting any results. Yeah, so our uh, main point is to get to the end. Uh, we're leading the Kenya National Championship as we speak. And uh, the preps for Safari have been good. The car has gone through a major rebuild. Uh, all looks good from our side. And we await for, they call it, uh, washer. Well, um, firstly, let's not forget the WRC cars. I mean, uh, right now, you know, the power band they have is out of this world. Our cars are not that quick. Those cars have 400 uh, brake horsepower plus, where we are at around 2 to 10. Rubies, within the partnership with the Castrol, is very proud also to support local talents. So uh, this morning we have the China families. Uh, they are very good drivers, as you may know, and uh, we are providing them with fuel and support and everything. Cristiano Ronaldo becomes the first men's football player to make 200 international appearances and celebrated that milestone by scoring the winning goal.